JE advanced model question. So we have this limit problem from JE advanced model question, and this is actually the sum of g of e to the power i of n, where i is going from 1 to n divided by n. So this problem basically looks like some kind of infinite sums, yeah, and these infinite sums are also uh, dependent on i so maybe some kind of integral representations can be made so basically uh, we know that if we have integral from a to b of, of f of x dx this integral is also equals to a Riemann sum that is Riemann sum from i equals to 1 to n of f of a plus b minus a by n times i and then b minus a by n so basically if n goes to infinity this sum will be equals to the integral and this is known as Riemann sum and basically this thing is known as delta x b minus a by n is b minus a by n is known as delta x and this whole term over here is known as xi so it's just basically the sum of f of xi, which is height, and this is the base, and all the sum area, sum of all the areas will give the integral. Yeah. And now over here, if let's say f of x is a uh, g of e to the power x, if f of x is g of e to the power x, and then uh, let's say b is one and a is 0 then these two things will be same you know so b is 1 and a is 0 means 1 by n yeah so 1 by n is also here and then here uh, 0 plus 1 by n times i that's i by n so e to the power i by n should be there yeah and that's also here and i is going from 1 to n so this is actually the same as uh, this sum yeah and now if if it is the sum itself we can write this as integral so this sum can be written as integral from a is 0 b is 1 and function is e to the power x and then hold to the gif dx so now rather than evaluating the sum we need to evaluate the integral yeah and uh, let me increase the page size and let them solve okay now you might know about zip like this is a greatest integer function that returns the greatest integer less than or equal to number let's say if we have 2.3 this returns 2 if we have 2.6 this returns 2 if we have 2.9 also this returns 2 if we have 3.1 this returns 3 yeah so this is zip now a while going from 0 to 1 okay so we need to know about the values that e to the power x goes through basically uh, e to the power 0 will be 1 e to the power ln 2 will be 2 e to the power ln 3 will be 3 yeah and end ln3 is somewhere around 1.0 to somewhere around here yeah. it's basically greater than 1 and ln2 will be uh, between 0 to 1 I don't really know the value let, let me calculate it the value of ln2 is what's the calculator wait 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 calculator yeah. and then ln of 2 that is 0 0.69 yeah okay so now uh, the a bad g of e to the power x yeah g of e to the power x when x is uh, going from 0 to 0 0.69 yeah the, or let's say ln2 at this point the g of e to the power x will be 1 yeah cause e to the power 0 0.68 will be something like 1.99 but the gif will be 1 again so in this range the gif will be 1 and when it's going from ln2 
zero point six nine to uh, one. Yeah, the value of e to the power x will be two. Yeah, and if it was like a one point zero to something like that, then it would have been three. But no, but because uh, we are just going up to one. Yeah, the, so it's just two. Okay. So now since we know this fact, uh, we can basically write like this integral from 0 to 1, so 0 to ln of 2 and in this range of values, g of e to the power x is actually 1, so 1 dx. Now going from ln 2 uh, to 1, yeah, in this range the value is going to be 2, 2 dx. Okay, now let's solve this, this is just x from 0 to ln 2 and this is 2x from 0 to ln 2 okay and then uh, ln 2 minus 0 the ln 2 minus 0 and this is 2 ln 2 sorry ln sorry okay this is actually 1 and ln 2 over here in okay ln 2 okay so this is uh, an and then 2 minus 2 ln 2 2 minus 2 ln 2 so the answer will be 2 minus ln 2 this is the answer yeah 2 minus ln 2 yeah basically the answer will be mm, 2 minus ln 2 this is the answer and I hope you enjoyed the solution and you learned something as well thanks for watching and then I look forward to seeing you again soon in the next video